hey y'all what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of seasons so in the last part we had a night out in the city Sophia talked Clara into going out and hoped that she would meet somebody new since she is newly single and unfortunately we didn't have any luck we didn't meet anybody you know worthy of our time but we did get to you know bond a little bit and have a little heart to heart with Wyatt which was really sweet and then of course Wyatt has been trying really hard to just figure out what is going on with Stevie but anyways it is summertime it is Sunday and they are riding out a thunderstorm we have Sophia and Dalton over it has been storming all day long. I'm kind of ticked off about it because it's Sunday. It's the weekend. I really wanted them to go outside and play in the pool and have water balloon fights and all that fun summer stuff. But instead, we have Dalton definitely uh, telling Claire to get off. <laughs> she was trying to comfort him and uh, he didn't like that too much. So you know what? Whatever then. <laughs> She's going to shout forbidden words. I mean, that's something that you should not do in front of a child. But you know what? I think it's just the thunderstorm. They're all a little tense. I gave them all new outfits for the summertime so they, you know, look a little bit more appropriate. Which, you know what? I just realized that, you know, it is currently fall time. I have a little fall theme going on on my channel and it's kind of an inconvenience that this season's LP is currently in summertime but I figured you know sooner than later we will be finally into the fall and you know it'll kind of make sense for me maybe I'm just a little OCD about that because it's realistically not really summertime anymore even though down here in the south it is still 90 almost 100 degrees but I'm still in that fall festive spirit I'm super excited but anyways I think for this part today I do want to maybe have Wyatt try to take out Stevie on an actual date um, just so there's no confusion. She's under standing of the fact that, hey, yeah, this is definitely a date. We're going to try this out and see what happens. Um, also, I did have Claire when she got home from work. She rummaged through the summer decorations and we found this cute little flamingo here. So I put him out in the front yard. I thought that was really cute. And then we also picked up this little gnome here with the little pool floaty around her. I think that's super cute. So I put it in her garden and I added a little pool out here for Dalton when he comes to visit and then some water balloons for everybody else to have fun. Um, so yeah, I don't know what Carter's doing out in the rain, but he might want to get inside, but it is getting that time. Looks like Sophia and Dalton are heading home. They're just like, you know, it doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon. We're just going to brace the storm and Carter, son, if you're just going to wipe up puddles in the rain, you're going to be wiping up for a while. So just go inside and take a shower. Jesus. <laughs> We're going to have Wyatt, I guess, call up Stevie, um, I don't even think we can, can we properly ask her out on a date? Let's see. Yeah, we can. All right. I know it's raining, but if we go somewhere else to another, you know, world or town or whatever, it might not be raining. So we're going to risk it and see if we can take her out. All right. So we took Stevie to the movies. I figured, you know. I know it's a little bit hot outside. Maybe when it cools down later, they can go to the bluffs, have a romantic swim. But let's just go ahead and watch a movie. Let's watch Sims of the Dead. Sure, why not? With Stevie Lockett. No, no, no. Sit, sit your butt down, girl. <laughs> Don't you go nowhere. And yeah, this is really cute. It's like a little like, arcade because they both are, you know, in the technology guru career. Did they just change our channel? I, I know they didn't. <laughs> oh, they did. That is so rude. <laughs> But you know what? There we go. I think he fixed it. But anyways, we're just going to socialize with her and, you know, try to make this date uh, go well. We need to have them both be flirty at the same time. She's, like, really, really cute. I think they would make a really good couple. Um, hopefully, I, th I think things are going to go good as long as he's making an effort because, obviously, she does have a huge crush on him. So, I think she'll take it, you know take it to heart, you know, and be just over the moon about, you know, finally getting, you know, romantic with him and seeing, you know, where this goes romantically. So, ooh, I don't know. I think if anything happens um, as far as, you know, they just call it quits and decide to just be friends, that'll be on his part because he's kind of unsure about it. Um, he doesn't have those 
confident feelings for her. He's just, you know, seeing how it goes. But he is definitely attracted to her, and it's been a hot minute. So let's make a move and try to get them flirty. Ooh, look at them. <laughs> Alright, so look at her. She's like so giddy right now. It's super cute. But anyways, I don't even think they've ever, they, know they haven't had a first kiss or anything. So let's just have them flirt a little bit. Let's have him confess his attraction to her. I know they're supposed to be, you know, watching a movie, but they're completely being so rude and talking in the middle of the movie. Whatever. We're just trying to socialize, get this up so we can end this date properly. Um, and then... Like I said, possibly go skinny dip or something Ooh, at the bluffs. I think that would be really fun since it is summer. So we do have the option to ask her to be our girlfriend. I think she's telling us to hush. <laughs> but I do want to have a first kiss with her. Um, okay, I'm over this movie. Uh, I don't want to watch the movie anymore. I want to get flirty, and I want to, like, kiss her and stuff, you know, in the middle of the movie theater. Why not? Everybody's just standing around. It's not like they're watching it anyways. Okay, okay, so they're both flirty at the same time. I guess we can have our first kiss in front of everybody. You know, very romantic. Making his love, making his love, professing his love publicly. Oh, okay, so they have had their first date. I think it's going well. It's uh, getting a little bit late outside. I guess before it gets super dark, we can come over here to the arcade and just have them play some games with each other. That'd be really cute. Those eyes, y'all. Mm. He is so fine. Like, he stares right into my soul with his beautiful baby blues. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, yeah. I'm going to have them just hang out here for a little bit. And then I think he's going to ask her, um, do you want to, uh, you know, do something a little bit fun, a little bit risky, a little bit, you know, different? Oh, yeah, it's God's night at the bar, but we're about to head on out and oh, try to get a little bit maybe frisky. I don't know. He's feeling super flirty, but I think I'm going to have him tell her a story so we can get it to a gold level date and then end the date and have her meet us at the bluffs. So, real quick, let's tell her a funny story. Okay, we're not quite at the gold level, but you know what? Whatever, we're going to go ahead and end this date here and then head on over to the bluffs. Okay, we have arrived at the bluffs just as the sun is setting and it's so beautiful and here he goes. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, I'm like, I'm just kidding. Oh my God, Chris is a sim. Jesus, he's just, he's so good looking. Like, mm. oh my God. Okay, yeah, he's feeling frisky for sure. Ah, okay, let's have them like splash each other and they're just skinny dip and having a good old time. She is, she's smitten y'all, she really is. And so far so good. I think that he's like, yeah, I think I definitely made a, you know, a good decision, you know, seeing where this goes. I definitely, definitely like you and see this going somewhere, you know, good. I mean, you're a beautiful girl, definitely attracted to you. And, uh, mm -hmm. Maybe, possibly, let's have them... Well, I wonder, if I have them sit here on the edge, will they be naked? Will they sit there naked? Because if so, I think that's a little inappropriate. Oh my gosh, they're, oh my god, they're just sitting there naked! Okay, um, oh my god, are they just... Are they gonna... Oh my god, they're, they're kissing naked on the freaking... Oh my god, this is like... Sorry guys, at least it's blurred out, but... Oh, I mean, they were skinny dipping. It's not... Oh my gosh, they're getting a little too frisky for me. Okay, let's... You know what? It's heating up. You know what? Let's find a bush over here. Why not? Let's just go ahead and woohoo with her. I mean, woohoo on the first date, not typically something that he would want to do. Um, but since they do know each other, they've known each other for quite a hot minute, um, I think it's okay. So why not? Let's just go ahead and seal the deal. Come on over here and woohoo in the bush. Alrighty, so they are making sweet love in a bush. How romantic. Mm. <laughs> Alright, well, I think, oh my gosh, oh my god. Do I, oh, do I have Risky Woohoo on? I think I had set it on. Oh, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, I think it was on a low percentage though, 10%. Oh god, that would just ruin everything <laughs> if she got pregnant but i do like to leave risky woohoo on uh just at like a lower percentage because it is possible that you know that could happen oh yep all right so how about you put some clothes on <laughs> um yeah i think 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 it's time to get dr to get dressed 
Um, maybe get back in uh, not your, yeah, right here. All right, I think we're just gonna pretend that we kissed her goodbye and we're gonna go home and get some sleep and then we're gonna hang out a little bit with Clara tomorrow when we wake up and, you know, maybe if it's not raining, do some harvesting and stuff, possibly have her go out in town, meet some new people. All right, so it is the next morning and Clara is out in her garden bright and early. Thankfully, she does not have to work. We just have her selling some cherries here. Um, I think everything here looks good. We have already harvested everything. I guess we need to come over here and keep applying the stupid mite treatment to these bees and maybe um, try to bond with them a little bit, you know, and possibly, you know, find a park in town or something to go to today just to get out and, you know, enjoy her day off. I think the weather today is a little bit cloudy, so it's not as bright as I hope. Maybe it'll brighten up a little bit throughout the day. Um, fingers crossed that it will. I believe Carter has already left for work. And Wyatt, does he have work today? No. Oh my gosh. So, oh, Wyatt can join her to the park. Yeah. Let's have her just come down here and ask him if um, that's something he'd be interested in doing. You know, do you want to, you know, go to the park with me today? You know, why not? Let's go over here and ask him what his plans for the day are since they both have the day off. She didn't know that he was going to be off today and likewise, he didn't know. So they're just going to go ahead and spend the day together. Why not? Since they have bonded over the last few days getting to know each other. All right, so we have arrived at the park, and I love this park. Oh my gosh, I think I've shown this park, park off before um, in my Runaway Teen series that I had going at one point. This is so creative. It's like a little tree house, but then there's also like a really cool park, uh, park, duh, pool over here. So, mm, it's hot, it's cloudy, but you know what? I think that they should come over here and not skinny dip, <laughs> swim here together and just chat a little bit. Uh, and oh, I guess you can go ahead and just like ask him, you know, what happened last night on your date with um, Stevie. And he's gonna tell her, uh, yeah. I guess you can say it went well, it went really well. Um, I think that we're going to, you know, see, you know, how it works and pursue this relationship. And she's like, well, you know what, um, I'm glad to hear that she's a really lucky girl. And he's like, yeah, well, when you finally find somebody, he's going to be a really lucky guy too. You're, you're a cool girl. And she's like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, they're cute. I like them. I think that they're going to be really, really good friends. Let's have just a deep conversation. Um, you know, since she is a little bit younger than her, I think, you know, he kind of, it's kind of weird. It's like he cares about her in a sense that is kind of like his little sister, but he's also kind of attracted to her in a, in a way that she doesn't want to be because it's his best friend's sister. But he can't deny that, you know, she's a beautiful girl and, you know, she does make him feel, you know, uh, a certain type of way he's never felt before. Um, he's not really sure how to take that, but, you know, he's just going to go with the flow and, you know, not really think too much into it. Um, but yeah, let's see what else is there to do. Is there anybody around here that we can meet? Oh, I thought that was going to be a little water balloon thing, but I don't see anybody here her age. I think what I'm going to have to do is put some Sims into the world from the gallery for Claire because I'm not seeing any townies that's originally here that's, you know, worthy. But I love how it's like a little cute little picnic area. Wow. I mean, goals. How cute. There's a hot tub. I think it's a little bit too hot for that. Uh, I think she's going to play some chess. I'm chess. I can't talk, y'all. I'm just looking around. <gasps> Ooh! Sorry, I'm like all over the place, but we're definitely coming over here, and we're going to invite Wyatt to skate. This is so cute. They're having a great day out bonding, swimming, skating. You know, I wish there was an option, kind of like in The Sims 3, to have them like spin around together. That'd be really cool. Practice tricks to unlock this, keep skating around. Okay, so apparently that's a skill like in The Sims 3, but we can't spin together, which sucks. But who do we have here? Curtis, oh, he's an elder. He's a little too old for us. Oh, but you know what? Wyatt actually did meet somebody at the bar that he kind of clicked with, um, and I think they'd be really good friends. And his name is Philippe Vernette. 
and he's in the Young Singles Club, so we know that he's single, and he's really, really cute, so I think he may try to talk Philippe up, you know, just to try to help Claire out. Um, oh, yeah, I think so. Who else do we know? Uh, yeah, we met him, but he has a wife, um, so yeah, I think once we get done, I think he's got to use the restroom, so let's just go ahead and have them stop skating real quick. And then we're going to have him kind of talk up Mr. Philippe, possibly kind of set them up on like a blind date. Before he does that, he's feeling a little bit playful. I think he's going to come over here and just give her kind of like a little flirtatious joke. Um, just you know, see how she takes it. Uh, he's just, you know, in a fun, playful mood. Maybe she won't read too much into it. He's about to pee on himself, though. And no, it's like not even an option anymore. Make a flirtatious joke. Uh, don't worry. We're going to have you use the restroom. She's like, ah, oh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> All right, but let's see if we can ask about or hook. Oh, okay. She's feeling flirty now. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay. Hook up with. Can we hook her up? Oh, he. it's not even an option to hook her up with. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe can we ask her if she knows him already? I don't think she does, but... I do, yeah, let's just ask her if she knows him. Pretty positive that she doesn't. She's going to be like, nope, never met him. And then maybe after that we can... I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Philippe. Okay, so now can we possibly ask to hook to hook them up? Nope, okay, well, you know what? We're, we're pretending that he mentioned it, and she's like, oh, yeah, I mean, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting him, but I would love to. And they're both about to pee on themselves. Who is this? Uh, Fred Agner Hext. That is an interesting last name. He is just snoozing away in the hot tub. All right. Anybody else? Is she in the? What is that? Oh, the chestnuts. <laughs> chestnuts. Get it? Ah, clever. That is funny. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I'm just trying to see who all is here. Uh, Xavier Underwood. Okay. And then we have Kareem. Um, who else? Florencia. I don't think that she, he's really her type. You know, I don't know. Who is this over here? Patty Bloom, an adult. Alright, yeah, I think that we're probably just going to go ahead and end this part here. Who is this little lady walking around strutting it? Nicole Nelson? Who do we have working here? Savannah Woods. Oh! She's cute. Can we come over here and um, order some food? Oh, look. I forgot. Oh, oh, I guess like, oh, I have like a little summer stand that's really cute. Oh, my God. We can get iced coffee. <laughs> iced coffee? Lemonade? We'll just get him a lemonade. Why not? And then, you know, practicing it. We're going to casually introduce ourselves to her because she's really cute. <laughs> she might be in a relationship. I think most of these sims in the save file are, but you know what? We're going to go ahead and test the waters here and see, you know, why not? He's in a good mood. She's a pretty girl. You know, he just wanted some lemonade, you know? What's the guy to do on a hot summer day besides get some lemonade and ask this girl what her number is? Ask her if she's single. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just, like, introduce ourselves to her. Oh, we could have done a flirty introduction. Let's uh, ask her if she's single. I mean, it's a little bit forward, but, you know, that's the only way to find out. <laughs> she's really pretty, though. Oh, she's single. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. So, he is just, like, killing it in the game. He's got so many options. Mm. I mean, who could who could pass it up? I mean, for real, though. Oof. Anyways, y'all, where is Clara? like she is going to um get some water okay well i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this part up here i hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up leave all your comments and suggestions all that sorts of things down below and i will see y'all later